Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John support us for the 23rd of May. It was an interesting day because um, we talked about the potential for you know, needing to get part of that fill back in the uh, almost positive extreme uh, right there in the yellow. It was a little more severe on the NASDAQ, but started lower and brought back up pretty much flat for the day. So uh, overall, uh, not surprising given where we were. And we did finally get that uh, MBI white poke above. We're still with magenta over yellow. So as long as that persists, not likely to see much follow through to the downside. It's going to take a little bit further breakdown, but uh, can easily happen. I mean, we've seen the break here in the DOC setup where uh, Cyan has taken the lead, but you can see it's not one of those uh, strong spikes where you get a significant blowdown. It's pretty modest at this particular stage. We'll see if it's able to amplify itself and from the NQ, providing all the support necessary for the S&P uh, as it continues to powerhouse. Uh, finished a little bit better, even relatively speaking to the NASDAQ. It did start lower as well, but uh, pulled right back up. So that strength was inherent in those readings. Uh, no question about that. TLT continued to make a new 0%, and that is not surprising because exactly what was expected and even when we were up here it was an easy call for the move back to what i was projecting around the 100 range um, because the numbers just don't lie and you can you know stare the the realities at some point you're you're going to achieve them uh, they took a while to do it but uh, needless to say it still worked out exactly as expected oil remained flat too i mean it's pretty much an inactive day generally everywhere on everything the euro did absolutely nothing as well and uh, even from your uh, gold standpoint <laughs> flat too uh, so this is where everything just uh, was paused even uh, crypto did absolutely zero and eth same situation so operational pause now those readings from a mbi reading for the cryptos they should be doing better than that so the potential for them to actually start a move uh, exists i think they just the reality is in some cases you need some short activity in order to drive that next leg you can see we've had the run up a little bit of softening not really much moved back to the new 50 percent level here on the morgan archies and it's hovering there for now um there's still plenty of positive extremes we took out uh, a couple of the later ones and this was the first one that got filled at the start uh, on that dip and that's pretty much why i did it and really adds to the strength of a move because when you get that fill back in there, um, you don't have that uh, exposure hanging out there that uh, we know gets filled. It's just a question of when. And that's just a matter of waiting for the proper signals. You can see from an intraday, once we got up to that peak from the morning, when I was doing the report, we pretty much went nowhere. They did a couple of little shakeouts to get the weak hands. That over is where that I hate the five minute because it's just so many bars for no good reason. But you can see, couldn't quite make new high in there, and that did create a little bit of sell towards the end. And post market, we'll probably see them push it right back to where it was and we'll rinse and repeat. Maybe we'll get a little more. I mean, it was still decent activity uh, range wise intraday, but uh, uh, the end result looked like nothing took place. So, pretty calm right now. As always, though, there's always calm before the storm. <laughs> Trade well. We'll talk again later. Look for me in the Skype chat.